Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 7, the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we had a cafeteria with 20 or 280 ice cream bars during lunch. Some, all right. So we have some we have a missing quantity here. All right. So I'm going to put a question mark right here. All right. So some were sold after lunch. Right. We had 130 bars left over. All right. So we need to represent one way to find the number of ice cream bars sold during the lunch. Well, let's let's just figure that out on our own. Okay, so we had our had 280. Okay, so that looks like a total to me. So I'm going to draw a strip diagram. Okay, so I'm going to put 280 here, and then it's really going to just come into two parts. Right, some were sold. That's my question mark. And then I've got 130 left over. So 130 plus uh, however many were sold are going to equal my 280. So let's see. Well, I, I could add up if I wanted to. Um, and that actually wouldn't be that difficult, right? If I think my uh, 130, right? Look, if I add a 50, that's going to get me to 180. And then if I add uh, 100, that's going to get me to 280. So what did I add? I added 150. So it looks like 150. I could also subtract right 130, take away from 280. There's not even any regrouping necessary. OK, so this is going to represent 150. Now, why does that help me? Well, what I could do is I can plug in that 150 into each of these answers for either the question mark, or in this case, we've got like a little box, right? It's all an unknown number, and we'll see if it works. Okay, so look what we did here. We've got 150 for A minus 280. Now, if we're not sure how subtraction works, this might almost look good. Look at this, 150, let me do it vertically, minus 280, right? 8 minus 5 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. So you kind of see it, but that's not how subtraction works, right? Unless you want your answer to be negative, and we're not going to sell a uh, you know, negative number of ice cream bars during lunch, you need your larger number on top, and 280 is larger than 150. So you actually can't, just can't do that problem, right? Unless you get a negative, and it, a negative doesn't make sense in this situation. So that is not going to work. For that one. Now, B does have a strip diagram, but remember, we sold 150 bars during lunch. The missing number is supposed to be 150, but take a look. I got my 280 and I've got my 130. It's a part, part, whole, but these are the two parts. In order to figure out what this is, right, I have to add those two. So that's 410. Okay, so it should be 410, not 150. Uh, so we don't sell 410 during lunch, we sell 150. So that's where knowing the answer helps, right? Uh, 150, right? This would work if it's subtraction, but that's the wrong operation. That's uh, going to be, you know, 430. So it doesn't work there either. So let's hope it is D, and let's take a look at D. So I've got 2, what's this, 220, 230, 240, that's 280. And then I take away, right, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, take away 150. So that's kind of a strange way to look at it, but it's using a number line, right? So I started with 280, took away 150, and what did I end up with? 120, and then I've got my... Uh, 130, which is this right here. Yes, yeah, so that works. My answer is D.